Another morel found, another one goes in the bucket. These two came to the Northwest Territories to visit friends. They're out picking not far from Fort Providence as part of the whole experience. It's fun. It's like something threw quarters on the floor almost. <laughs> <laughs> so morel mushrooms like these are what's making people the money. For some it's going well, for others not so much. These guys came from Carmax Yukon with the hopes of making four to five hundred dollars a day. Now they're just trying to earn enough cash to get them home. How much do you need? At least five hundred probably. <laughs> Seven dollars a pound, that's what buyers are paying. At times last year, pickers here in the territory saw up to fourteen dollars a pound. These guys are selling their camp and heading home. They feel duped. I thought duped. I was going to come out with more money than I did. So. I had big plans for my money. Yeah. I was going to go traveling. But not everyone feels that way. 53 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. That's over $350. Not bad for a half a day of work. So why the low price? One buyer for BC company Pacific Rim Mushrooms was not very forthcoming when a CBC camera arrived. We overheard the reason why. I don't know anywhere where the tax man's not gonna come and buy me now after that guy. That's, That's a mushroom. That's but others down the road were more than willing to answer questions. Here the buyers in a Fort Providence gas station parking lot are seeing fifteen hundred pounds a day on average. They say prices are low this year because BC mushrooms are flooding the market. The year before there was no fires in BC. So there was no, all the mushroom come from Northwest Territories last year. That's why there was a big boom last year here in Northwest Territories. The buyers say they're starting to see green mushrooms come in. That's usually a sign the end of the season is near. They say they'll pull up shop and move on probably in a week or so. Jacob Barker, CBC News, Fort Providence.